What is a spatial experience like? Before you enter a space, your senses are resting, awaiting the experience to come, almost like a blank canvas ready to react to paint. Before we enter a space, the only thing we rely on are expectations of what we think we will experience. These expectations are based off our past experiences in other spaces and time. The exterior of a space subconsciously sets an expectation of what we think the interior will be like and even the function of that space. A sensory experience cannot be isolated to just one sense. It's a combination of all of our senses working together, which creates an experience. As soon as we walk into a place, our senses are triggered. We take in what we see, feel, hear, smell, and taste all at the same time. With all these things being thrown at us at once, an experience is created. We see the aesthetics of the space and decide whether we think it's comfortable or uncomfortable. We touch things, we come in contact like a wooden table or a warm coffee mug. We taste the freshly brewed coffee and toasted pastries. We smell the same freshly brewed coffee that fills the air in the entire space. We hear some people talking, some people silently working, the coffee machine making new drinks. How we react to all these things determines our experience. Each person's individual experience within a space creates a specific purpose for that space. Likewise, space can stimulate certain senses over others to guide the purpose humans should give it. Art museums are mostly for visual engagement, with neutral colored walls, light emphasizing creations, and a quiet atmosphere. The space of the art museum gives the purpose of the space to its visitors, whereas the coffee shop provides multiple opportunities of purpose. Starting from a blank canvas, Senses, past experiences, and expectations come together to paint a beautiful experience. That experience in a space makes it a place, somewhere that is personal and has purpose.